Hello, this is Kathy. Today I wanted to talk about a really innovative idea that comes out of the Philippines. It is soda bottle lighting. A soda bottle light is made out of a 1.5 to 2 liter empty plastic soda bottle. This bottle is filled with water and a cap full of regular household bleach and inserted into a hole in the roof of the dwelling. Now the soda bottle light functions like a deck prism. During the day the water refracts sunlight up to the brightness of a 55 watt light bulb. For many living in extreme poverty the luxury of having some kind of a light during the day in their homes is a godsend. To see this effect in a video do a search on YouTube for soda bottle lights and see for yourself how amazing this is. But I got to thinking about this whole idea and I think it could provide excellent lighting here in the Western world as well. You could use them in an outbuilding on farms or sheds and other storage buildings people may have. It would even work in a porch. Mind you, in colder climates you would have to consider the freezing factor. I haven't tried it myself but I was wondering if a certain percentage of antifreeze added to the water might solve this issue. I don't know if it might affect the water refraction properties but I think this is definitely worthy of some further investigation. I was also wondering if special skylights for modern western housing could be manufactured that use these same principles of light refraction via water. They could be much smaller than a regular skylight and yet give off more natural lighting. Plus, because of their small size, they would not become the dirty eyesore that most large regular style, style skylights become in a home. I really think this idea could definitely fly. You could make the coolest natural light sculptures using these principles. I can see water refraction skylights that could could look like groupings of light refracting icicles. They could become the centerpiece of the home, beautiful natural light. Now soda bottle lights are ecologically sustainable and building them for people in need has provided jobs for many who have not had work without it. This idea was originally developed by Alfredo Moser of Brazil but has been championed the most by Iliac Diaz of the Philippines. Now Diaz has started the organization called Liter of Light which is attempting to bring daytime lighting into the homes of millions of people living in extreme poverty. I want to read an excerpt from an online article from Physics Central, Physics Buzz blog. To make a soda bottle light you begin with cutting a hole in your roof. This will let some sunlight in. Even a small hole in a darkened room can make a big difference. There are, however, some problems with a simple hole. Besides letting in the rain and insects, you only get as much light as falls directly through the hole. You can do much better than that with some grassroots engineering. Putting a water-filled container in the hole collects much more light due to two fundamental optical effects, Snell's Law and the total internal reflection quality. When light moving through the air runs into a denser material like water, it changes direction, that is, the light beam kinks where it encounters the water surface, so that it's traveling more directly down into water. That's very helpful if you're trying to get more light down through the hole. Despite the help that Snell's law provides, some of the light will still be on a path to the opposite side of the cylinder. A portion of light is trapped in the cylinder because of simple reflection, which can happen any time light passes from one transparent material to another. However, during much of the day, the light will strike the cylinder walls in such a way that lots of light will be reflected down toward the hole. This is called total internal reflection. Light reflection this way will bounce back and forth as it travels down through the water column, much like signals passing through an optical tape cable. 
once the light is in the room, the bottle offers another major benefit. If you only had a hole or even a small glass window, then sunlight passes straight through and illuminates a spot on the floor or wall. We have all seen this dynamic from sunlight shining through our windows. It travels in a straight line through our windows and onto the floor or wall of our rooms. Because of multiple reflections and different paths caused by Snell's law of refraction and internal reflection, light spreads out as it passes through the water column. That's what makes the soda bottle lights glow in the pictures at the beginning of this video. They are also developing cheap solar charging panels that collect the natural light refracted through the soda bottle light so that people can have lighting at night in their homes as well without the air pollution issues of candles and things of that nature. Not to mention the fact that once installed they virtually run themselves with no cost for up to five years. And then all that is required is a new rechargeable battery and a new soda bottle light and you're good for another five years. It is truly an incredible concept. The idea has gone even further. Recently, soda bottle street lights have been experimented with using these same principles. A few small LED lights and flexible small solar panel and batteries are encased inside a plastic cylinder that is small enough to easily pass through the opening of a soda bottle that is filled with the water and capful of bleach. This assembly is then mounted on a tall wooden post and provides safe lighting for even the poorest parts of the world. I can't help but wonder if this idea could have merit for us here as well. I think this is a great idea that could definitely benefit from additional research. You know, this could also be a wonderful creative medium to explore, to build fantastic light sculptures using these principles that could be used instead of the street lights we have in today's world. I can even see the concept of using different colored water to get incredible nighttime effects. Can you imagine how beautiful it could be? Can you also visualize the money that could be saved from city budgets? When all is said and done, what a wonderful way to recycle. All in all, it's simple, clever, cheap, and environmentally sound lighting solution. Well, that's it for now. Take care.